Hi, I'm Daryl W. Perry, running for state representative in Cheshire 16, which is the floaterial district covering the entire city of Keene. I'm running for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, for the first time in over 20 years, the Libertarian Party has full ballot access in New Hampshire. And in order to retain ballot access, we need to make sure that we get 4% of the vote for our gubernatorial nominee. That happened in 2016, which gave us ballot access. Prior to 1997, the vote threshold for retaining ballot access was 3%. I would, if elected, introduce legislation to reduce that vote retention down to actually 2%, which is the national median, meaning that half of the states have vote thresholds that are at or below 2% of the vote for a statewide office. The other half of the states have a vote threshold that is above. Our vote threshold currently is double the national median. I would also, if elected, introduce legislation to allow for alternative methods of a party getting ballot access, meaning that I would like to see voter registration be used as an option for a party retaining ballot access, which is something that a lot of states that have partisan uh, voter registration actually do. New Hampshire, one of those states that does not. I would also, if elected, wind up introducing legislation to fully legalize cannabis. I'm not talking about creating a tax and regulate scheme like what was adopted in Massachusetts and Maine back in 2016 and yet to actually be fully implemented. What I'm talking about when I say full legalization is that cannabis should be treated the same way tomatoes are, where actually if you look at the New Hampshire statutes, you will not find the word tomato in statutes. But no one would say that tomatoes are not a legal substance. It simply means that there are no regulations on the amount of tomatoes that you can purchase when you go to the store. There are no regulations on the number of tomato plants that you can have in your yard. There's no regulations on the number of tomatoes that you can wind up selling to your neighbor. Now, certainly there are regulations, uh, rightly or wrongly, there are regulations on various uh, businesses conducting business. But again, no regulations specifically about tomatoes. And I believe that cannabis, which is a plant, should be treated in the exact same way. I also think that integrity of the vote is very important. And part one, Article 11 of the New Hampshire Constitution says that all inhabitants have the right to vote. That means that college students living in New Hampshire should be allowed to vote in New Hampshire. When the Republican legislature wound up passing SB3, I was one of the vocal opponents of SB3. When the Republican legislature earlier this year passed the statute that amends the definition of residency. I was a vocal opponent of that legislation as well. Luckily, SB3 is being challenged in court and the other bill, I believe HB 1264, does not go into effect until next year. But if elected, I would introduce legislation to actually repeal both of those pieces of legislation. And most importantly, for the people of New Hampshire and Keene specifically, I would work to reduce the tax burdens. Keene has one of the highest effective property tax rates in the state, and that's something that definitely needs to be fixed. Now, I realize a lot of that happens at the local level, but there are pieces of legislation that could be passed at the state level that would wind up affecting some of those things at the local level. So I would appreciate your vote on November 6th in the general election.